nowadays, we're all listening to these. Yes, the MP3 players had arrived, and with them, the promise of thousand of tracks in your pocket at a time. But gadget show presenter of the day, Adrian Simpson, had a very important question to ask. If you're thinking about buying an MP3 player, is this the one you should go for? Turns out it was. The iPod went on to sell 14 million units in 2004 alone, something another of my predecessors, Tom Dunmore, gave reason for. Now it's easier than ever to get hold of digital music, and that's thanks to the arrival of iTunes. But MP3 software didn't start with iTunes. It was another offering that kickstarted the digital music downloads era. Napster. The problem with Napster was that it was a bit dodgy. All right, it was very dodgy. Dodgy because the music was illegally shared and therefore free. Unsurprisingly, Napster got shut down, but they soon came back with a legal service matching iTunes' 99p a track model. But that wasn't the only similarity. Napster's got together with Samsung to produce the Napster pod. Looks kind of familiar, huh? Apple kept innovating. The click wheel in the iPod Mini made searching for tunes easier than ever. But rival Sony were also breaking boundaries. Now they've launched a Walkman phone. The phone holds up to 150 songs on a 512 meg removable memory card. But dedicated MP3 players had also upped their game. And by Series 4, many manufacturers started to offer more than just music. You can watch videos on both the Creative and the iPod. But side by side, the creative screen quality stands out and has a better battery. Download sites were also on the up. Even supermarkets were trying to get a slice of the action. But the real innovation came with the introduction of music subscriptions. Whippet is a British download site. For £50, you can subscribe and download up to 60,000 songs. Over the next few years, the MP3 hardware war really started to hot up, as did John's testing. Right, we're off with the new Nano. Let's switch it on. Music. Good. Uh, 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 uh. And by 2007, MP3 playing phones had started to flood the market. So John got his banger on and tested three of the best with DJs Bobby Friction and Nahal. That test resulted in another win for the Sony Walkman phone. But Apple fought back with this. Music functionality of the iPod Touch is obviously one of its biggest selling points. I just love the way it's been implemented. iPod Touch was basically an iPhone, but without calls and text. It wasn't the only big screen player around, though. Remember Arcos? You can get a 160 gig version. The maximum iPod Touch only goes up to 16 gigs. By Series 8 and 2008, the iPod dominance peaked with over 50 million sold in that year alone. But when it came to iTunes, new rivals threatened. Instead of paying to download and keep your songs, you pay for a service that streams music live over the internet. A concept that impressed guest tester and Radio 1 DJ Joe Wiley. The idea that you can just sit there in your office or at your home on your computer all the time and have all this music at your disposal, it's just brilliant. Really, really exciting prospect. A prospect that has shaped how we listen to music to this very day. As streaming sent the music world into a spin and smartphones took off, MP3 player sales stalled, despite Apple's launching a touchscreen iPod Nano in 2011. And when Rachel Riley joined in 2013, MP3 players were specialist devices great for the gym. It's just how lightweight these things are. I mean, I can't even feel like I've got anything on my head. And as Olympian Mark Foster found, the pool. The sound is good. I like the fact that you can hear the music and the water. And by 2016, the last bass in the iPod was lost, when the iPhone cut its headphone port and those iconic white cords were ditched in favour of a wireless future. Ooh. I'm experiencing the groove. <laughs> <laughs> Back in 2001, when Steve Jobs launched the iPod, he said listening to music will never be the same again. And you know what? I think he was right.